everyone. So this is going to be my first ever HoneyBook video. And if you've been following along, you know that I've been testing out this system so that I have full knowledge on a system other than Dubsado, which is the only one I've used in the past. Um, and I'll be doing some videos to show you the interface here, as well as pro and con tutorials, uh, blog posts, etc. over the next couple months. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, but one thing that I've really enjoyed about HoneyBook is the proposal building stage and the overall look of the proposal. So I'm going to show you how to build one of those today. And if this is your first time looking at HoneyBook, I'll try and give you kind of an overview of the interface as well. Um, and if you use my link, which is below, you can get 50% off whether you just want to do your seven day free trial, um, try it out for a month or purchase for a longer period of time, you can get 50% off using that link. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so your homepage kind of looks like this. I'll tell you what's going on. I don't have 100% of the setup, so it's kind of looking a little blank. But in the future, once I get everything fully set, you'll have all of this stuff up here. Um, so we're going to start out in tools, templates. And this is basically, if you are familiar with Dubsado, just their same templates, forms section. Um, and we're actually going to start with packages. So if you click here, it's very similar um, to what you think it's going to be, or if you've used a different system, it's very similar to anything I've used in the past. Um, what I do love here, so we have this three-piece suite, and what we've done is we have the full price here at the top, and then we actually have everything that's included in line items below that we can very easily change. So this is a set package. I love that you can add photos. Um, I haven't done that here yet, but I think it's a really cool feature. And I like that you can kind of put these below the full package, if that makes sense. So I could put a description here of like, this is our most common package, whatever. I've chosen to just put the descriptions here, um, but I think it's a really nicely laid out, um, visually appealing way of looking at things. It's really easy to edit. So then what it looks like, um, if you just have a single field, it just looks like this. Um, it's nothing too crazy. And then you just click if you want tax or not. And then a larger package that's got items under it will look, look like this. Okay. So once you've done all of your packages and the great thing about HoneyBook is they'll set it all up for you. So if you send them your price list, um, I actually did not have to build any of these packages really. I think I built this one afterward, but all of the other individual ones were already built for me. So once you have the packages that you want, you can go over here to this proposal and create a template here. So we've pretty much just got this three piece one built out because it's our most common one. Um, and the one we've been sending out a lot lately. Okay. So when you're building a template, like if you just click, you know, add template, you'll get this, you can change the title. Um, I'll just do a new three piece. And you can see this photo is up here, but if you have others in your gallery, I've been using this one and I really kind of like that. Um, and I like that you can just kind of go back and forth with all the different ones. So we'll just add a new item here. And we're actually just going to use this three piece suite one because it's our most common one. So this is just a proposal template and you can add anything else you want here. Um, like one thing that we might add on here is our envelope liners because that's a really common upgrade. So maybe we'll add a hundred here and maybe something else like a belly band. We'll throw in a hundred of those because those are really common things that we put on a lot of our proposals. Most likely, um, I'm just going to stick with this on the proposal and then add those based on what the client is looking for. But I kind of like how this is laid out because I think visually it makes a lot of sense that all of this is together. These items are under the three piece suite and these are like upgrades. So I think, um, it's a great visual representation of how everything falls for your client as opposed to having them all listed one after the other. Cause then they're like, Oh, you know, what do we need? What do we not need? Etc. And I still like to itemize everything. If you didn't want to itemize everything, that's totally fine too. Um, you could just have this one at the top 
and put the full price. And then you could put right here what's included, but just put $0 as a price there. So you could have it listed kind of like this, but with zero price with zero dollars so they don't see the price per item. I still do because a lot of people ask like specifically what's included and some people like to switch out um, like the calligraphy address. This is technically an add-on because we have printed guest address here and we already have like a dollar accounted for in there. So if they wanna get rid of the guest address in calligraphy, which a lot of people do, that's really easy to do without getting rid of all this other stuff too. Um, so I love how this is laid out. And then once you're happy with your template and whatever's on it, um, let's see, I'm gonna just delete belly bands and leave envelope liners because we do that almost always. <laughs> and then you have a payment schedule. And once you've created one, you have all these templates. So I have my 50-50, which is what this is. And it basically just has the amount that's owed, which is you can choose, you know, 50% or custom amount or divide equally. Um, and then I have it as invoice date because that's whenever I send it over to them. And then this one, I have three months before the project. My project date is always the day of the wedding. So this will be three months before the wedding, usually around the time we're sending them out, but I will reserve the right to uh, send out the invoice and ask for the final payment, but it's kind of variable. So I just left this um, a little bit open. And then once you've created a template, they'll all show up here. So you can, you know, you can save this one if you want to. So it's really easy to select those or you can manually do whatever you want here. And you can do recurring payments, which I think is a cool feature of HoneyBook that they don't really have as well done in Dubsado. And then under here you have the contract. So this is all gonna be kind of on the same page, but the client will still, you see these different sections, the client will kind of still see it in different sections. So then your contract is another thing that they'll go ahead and load in for you. So they've already loaded and I've got all my little signature blocks, event date, event type, all that kind of stuff. So then once you're done, this automatically saves. So I really do like that all their forms here in HoneyBook always automatically save. Um, so you'll always be able to access that. If you want to add it to a job, it's really easy. You just go into that job and click new file proposal and then select this template. Um, but what I think is really cool and unique about HoneyBook is you can also just click use this template. So say I wanted to go ahead and send this over to someone, you could do it on a new project, or I could select my sample project. There we go. There's usually a drop down, but my internet is a little slow right now. So you'll go sample project next. And then it takes me directly into that project. And then from this point on, anything that I'm doing is, uh, it says it up here, any new changes will not be applied to the template. So then here, if I'm like, oh, this client really wants gold foil, I'll go ahead and add that in there and say, you know, their quantity isn't 100, but is 95. So then I'll go ahead and make those changes. And then you're ready to go and that's super easy and it's already changed everything on the payment schedule contract is all the same okay and when i was doing that template i didn't change my contract so it just kept the same one so i'm going to go ahead and change this to the invitation design contract and then we'll go to client view so as you can see this is kind of what i was talking about how this is all laid out together in this gray block which i love and then you can see these optional upgrades are separated so I really, really like that. And if you wanted to like include the liners, for instance, in here, you could also make that change. And then you can see once they're ready, they can click over to this contract. And it says, you know, there's 21 heat fields and it'll take you through all of those very, very easily. And then they can click like continue to pay. And HoneyBook is its own payment processor. So um, you can't hook it up to like Stripe or Square or something else, but they have pretty much the same fees as any of those programs. So you would just set them up here. And one thing that I love here, so you can add the gratuity, you can also set up the payments for auto pay. So your client can go ahead and do that and charge their future payments automatically. So then on that due date, like this second one that's gonna come up November 1st, um, if I send it over to them earlier, they can of course pay it earlier, but then on November 1st, if there's any remaining payment there, they will go ahead and have that automatically charged. 
I haven't really gone through this with a client, so I'm not really sure if my clients are going to be comfortable doing that. But if you have someone who's doing like recurring payments, a membership fee, um, smaller payments, etc., then I think this could be a really good feature for you. And it just helps you get paid without having to worry or do reminders um, or pay attention to when those invoices are coming up to you. So that's a client view. So we'll go ahead and exit that. This is a little information about how to build out proposals in HoneyBook. It's actually been, uh, I think, my favorite feature so far. There's also an app for HoneyBook, so you can do all of this um, from your phone if you need to go ahead and send a proposal really quick, especially if you have these templates built out to where you like them. You can easily go through and uh, send that on the fly, send that on the go, which I really, really love. So as a reminder, um, you can get 50% off with my code, which is linked below. And feel free to try it out. That lowers the price to like $20 a month. So it's worth it to go ahead and try it out. They'll do a lot of the setup for you. So any of your packages, invoices, contracts, etc., they'll go ahead and load all that information in for you, um, which helps a lot with the setup process. And this is available to anyone. Um, you don't have to be coming from another system or anything like that. Um, so you can go ahead and check out your free trial for seven days if you're interested. Um, let me know if you have any more questions on this process below. And as always, subscribe to our channel for more conversations and tips for creative business owners. Thanks, everyone.